All righty, turn 126, April 11th, 42. Let's see what kind of damage Logic does to us. All right, auto flip to Wind Windham, no surprise. Ooh, sub on sub. Oh, we hit, but it was a dud. Ah, oh. a dud. Why? I wonder if he's on the land here. Be a real pain in the ass if he does. Alright, he damaged some Catalinas. Wow. Two, four, six, five, nine heavies. Eight destroyers. Let's let's hear it. Oh, nope, didn't hear any invasion people, any, anyone landing. At least not yet. Alright, odds are he's not landing then, or else he would have probably done it right after that bombardment. Alright, let's see here. Alright, morning air phase. He's mauling me there. Go seagulls. Yeah. Is that all money get get in the air? Really? Wow. There we go. Ah, uh, damn it. Come on, Hudson's. Ah, uh, if the P-17s were here, would it be, it'd be nothing? He's still having good, good success against them. Wow, that hurt. Is 
I tell you, every time I drive him away by defensive fire, I get damaged back, it seems. Wow, that was it. It's he's standing was he like out of bombs in China? A double bombardment, huh? Comes the attack on Changsha. He should take it. I would love it if these guys held for a turn. I just don't think they will. I got what 50 assault value there. How bad did we get mauled there? Oh, not bad. Okay. That will be a moderate, a little bit of loss. Yep. Come on, guys, hold. This guy is the one that matters. Knock the forks down. That was any what? Hello, all you poor GIs and Marines. This is Orphan Anne at Radio Tokyo. Wow. Music and another blow to your morale. Today, our high command announced that. The ever victorious forces of the Japanese Empire have captured Perth. Ah, uh, what the hell? Ah, uh, we gotta give him this base too. Might as well, right? Oh wow, well, we're going to expand some bases and then go into production, looks like. Once that's done, we'll pause the video, grab some saves, grab some data, and come back and go over the after action and do a little crying over Perth.
Alrighty, well, uh, not good turn for us, but one surprise and one not surprise, but it still just makes me mad. I needed a little bit of time after that one, so, but we're back. Um, Stat-wise, um, Japan went up 1,012 points, no surprise, and we went down 68, also no surprise. In the air, we lost 19 aircraft, Japan lost one. Most of ours were those Hudsons that got caught. And then some P-39s, you know, we that, that are trying to play the role of fighters that just aren't doing very good. Also lost a pair of Kitty Hawks, and he lost an Oscar. Um, we went over um, reinforcements last turn, so we're not going to touch that here. We're going to jump right into the combat reporter. And let's take a look. I see we had uh, the Japanese ships are clearing the mines at Trincomalee. Looks like he probably got them all there. Off the coast of uh, Sydney, we had some sub-on-sub -sub action. We were the aggressor, so we fired on a Japanese sub, and of course we miss. Continuing my streak of any time there's a sub-on-sub -sub action, I do not get... A, I do not get a hit. Um, at, at Nomiya, we did mine it, but looks like he is also clearing the mines already. So I don't know if he has this guy sitting there doing nothing or if he pulled him out of port to, to take care of him. Down here and at uh, Tahiti, he showed up with a large surface combat group. You can see here, nine heavy cruisers. Three, four, five, six, eight destroyers. They rolled in off the coast of Tahiti and proceeded to level the place. Um, I kind of I was wondering if there was going to be an invasion with these guys, but does not does not seem to be. Um, to be honest, he would need to bring up some you know a decent amount of troops because I got some I got Marines there and so forth. I think Tahiti as a base is fairly secure at the moment because I don't think he has any any large enough units left unengaged to invade us with but you can see we got 260 ca casualties he hammered the, the 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 base some pretty good that was nighttime then during the day he came back for another bombardment i'm not sure how he had the ammo for it but he should be pretty empty now he came in during the day you can see less effect but tahiti's pretty much uh beat up now um Nothing super bad, and we are we will repair it all. We lost. I mean, I don't think we lost any PBYs. Um, they were all like uh, uh, damaged, so we haven't lost actually anything except for some some troops. But those are fairly easy to replace. On the ground, we got a handful of combat. I'm gonna go ahead through. I'm gonna do it backwards here. Up in uh, up in up. Uh, in New Zealand, not up in, down in New Zealand, he attacked my isolated troops up there in the North Island again. He got one to two odds, did some damage to us, but they are still hanging on and forcing him to, to stay engaged. Up in China, south of Kui Yang, he bombarded. We took some losses, but we are holding strong there. At Banduin, he attacked. A full deliberate attack. He got one to one odds, lowered the fort to level one. But he took twice the losses. He took 5,500 casualties. We took 2,800. Now, he can afford to lose these ca casualties. Um, where, I mean, because he, he, he can get more in there for fairly easy where I cannot. So, we are on the, the back end of keeping, of the days of keeping Ben, Ben, Ben doing. At Condamine down there in Australia, we attacked again with our armored vehicles. Um, we did, a, I believe, a sh yep, a shock attack. We got five to one odds, and we did some we did some losses on these paratroopers, but we cannot move them. I don't. I know they're elite troops, and we're <laughs> we're we're grinding them up. But I mean, if you had armored vehicles coming at you and you couldn't really hurt them. You would think they would, you would, the troops would run, but they don't. 
Um, the one attack I thought I was pretty sure I would lose is that Changsha. I have completely abandoned that 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 city. I left a couple beat up Chinese units there just to hold it so he didn't auto flip it. Because if you don't know, if they auto flip it, everything comes along intact. So if you have like level four forts and it auto flips, well, they now have level four forts and so forth. I don't think industry or anything gets has a chance to be damaged when it, when they auto flip flip it. So for some bases, you always want to leave some kind of troop behind. Like here, we had some decent forts. We had fort level six. But we only had like 30 or 40 assault va value troops here. Look, it, the number right there is, four, is, is, is 40, 47. So he came in with some divisions, and he just smacked the hell out of my guys, overran them. But in doing that, all the forts are, are destroyed. So he has to start over at, with level, at level z zero. And all the industry there has a chance of being damaged. So you can see he lost 300 casualties. We lost 1,300. Our units got crushed and retreated. I'm hoping those units will be destroyed because they are beat to hell. It's one of those things where you know it, it's too much supply, too much time to rebuild them. I just want I just want them to be replaced. So the units that ran here, these two cores right here, a core and, and a division, are now sitting northwest of Changsha in in the jungle there, and they will sit there until he pushes them out again. They are my rear guard, and I'm hoping they will be. Uh, the, Destroyed. You can see he came in with one, two, three, four full divisions. These RGC divisions don't count. An infantry regiment um, and two mixed mixed brigades. So he has a nice stack here. I'm sure it'll be heading north, but he'll need to leave at least one the the regiment or one of these brigades or possibly all these little temporary units behind to garrison the garrison the uh, base. That one I knew was going to lose because I had abandoned it. This one was surprise, Perth. I thought for sure with the Highland Division there, we would hold it. I I wasn't super sure on that because the Highland Division, despite what people say, you know, oh, the reinforcements are all high experience, you know, great units. Well, no, they're not. The Highland Division came on the board at, six, at 40 morale and 40 experience. So they are a green unit. The only thing they had is that they come fully equipped with all, you know, all the modern gut weaponry. So, I mean, while they were on paper, they're a 460 assault va value unit. In reality, they're not because of the, lo the, low, the low experience and, uh, and, and morale. We only, had a, we only had a couple of days at Perth to start regaining morale, so it didn't really help. He came in. And I think basically what happened is that the Highland Division failed the leadership check and probably a, a morale check and just folded be, before the Japanese uh, attack. So you can see, troop-wise, we're about even. Assault value, he's, he has higher, but I have forts. Oh, excuse me. Um, I have more guns. I have more vehicles so i should i should have held it but we did not which is why i think it came down to the gary Gr grigsby dice rules and i and i failed him you can see he got four to one i mean he got four to one odds against fort level two he took it i lost some aircraft that were damaged i couldn't get they couldn't get repaired in time to fly out he lost 1500 men assaulting which is really not much at all i lost 8400 men Including one unit totally destroyed, which was probably that uh, that uh, C C D gun unit. And you can see we got crushed. He came in there with two, two only two divisions. We had a division, the fortress, couple base forces, and some uh, artillery, and we just got crushed. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So I was not very happy with that. I, you know, like I said, I, I knew Changsha would fall. I figured it'd fall on the first first attack, and it did. This was a complete surprise. I thought for sure we'd be able to hold, at least for a couple more days. I was trying to figure out how how I can get land more men there, but I don't need to worry about it because it's gone. They retreated to the southwest to this hex right here, and they are pretty beat up. The Highland Division is still in decent shape. 
But like I said, at 40 experience and 40 morale, they're not really worth much in, in uh, fighting. So amphibious wise, he landed a couple more little little bases in the air. We had some bombings on both sides. Um, I bombed. Let's see, where is it? This one here. Yeah, I threw some Hudsons in here, and he had a uh, zero cap trap, and he mauled my uh, my Hudsons. But we did bomb his his division here, um, his naval guard unit, and so forth. So we got some bombs in. Um, he did sweep. To Tahiti again, so he has at least a couple carriers there. Now they are up here at at Matavia now, so I'm not sure what they're doing. I think he might just be hunting for for shipping coming in, into 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 the area into Tahiti or any other islands here, just trying to kill supplies and men. Signal intelligence. Let's see. Axis. Hmm. I don't know what he's doing here. Really? Okay. Located units. Let's see if anything pops out that gives us some information here. Nope. And hey, look, he's going to attack Changte and Kuiyang. No kidding. I've known that. That's pretty obvious because he doesn't have much, much else left. Ops reports, we got some, okay. Yeah, missing aircraft, supplies, bunch of units with no supplies, some armor regiments, got some upgrades down in Australia. Um, a bunch of air, air units could, are delayed because they're Dutch and they're trying to go into like Java and we have nothing for them, them to go to. So, and I'm pretty sure they won't come in any, anywhere else, so they're just going to be stuck until we take part of Java back. Task, uh, task forces moving around off map, sub action, laying, laying some minefields, some sightings, replacements. So we have some couple B 17s in the, in the one in the pipeline, one arrived to the pool. We just upgraded them to 17 E's. Repairs, um, still have some air, some aircraft, some ships that need repairs. Um, several, looks like a bunch of AMs completed their upgrades up, up in Canada. But don't couldn't even tell you what the upgrade was, but they're over there. They're doing nothing, so you might as well upgrade them. A destroyer, a Pearl upgraded, and the Enterprise off map upgraded as well. I believe that four, the four forty two upgrade gives the gives a lot of a, the Allied ships ra uh, uh, radar. So for carriers, that's definitely worth it for any combat ship. It is because it greatly improves your chances to hit, especially like at night or in bad weather. Maintenance, couple of some planes down for maintenance. Japan actions, a lot of sightings. Looks like he captured several bases. Intel, see, we've got an air, airfield at Alice Springs now. And he increased the port and the air and an airfield. All right, Coast Watch reports, no point there. And arrivals, we got an AK and AVD. Um, we got some, let's see, those guys are not new. The RAF, those are just. Uh, Arrived via the rail, and San Fran got some new air, uh, air units as well. All right, that's everything for Combat Reporter. Let's pop around the map up here at Ceylon. Nothing has really, really, really changed. He's still sitting here. What's that? Twenty-five thousand men. I'm showing. Uh, does see? I wish they would compare. Give you you know the same type of stats for both sides, but. At Colombo, we got level three forts. Um, we got what six hundred assault strength, five seventy one assault strength here. We got we got a hundred thousand, hundred ten thousand supply, a bunch of fuel. So we have enough here to sit here for a while, provided we could hold the base. I'm not sure if we can. I thought about. You see, I have two task force here. We're loaded with troops. I have considered bringing them in. But I've decided uh, against it. These are this one's a British brigade and some tanks. This one is the, two more British br brigades. The new ones out of uh, out of uh, Aden. I thought about trying to sneak them in here and land them, but 
I'm afraid he'll catch me with some air power, and best I could do is fly some long range cap over him. And I'm I'm afraid of losing half the units into the water, then the rest land, and really, you know, ten or twenty more assault strength ain't gonna make much much difference. And then I lose the entire unit and have to buy it all all back. And some of these larger units are expensive. I can't afford to buy them back. So I'm I'm gonna redirect them a little bit north and land them up up here in uh, in, uh, in India and they'll join my they'll they will join my uh, my strategic reserve in, in in India to deal with any kind of landings that he might he might conduct in actual in, in India actual. Nothing going on in southern India or Burma. Southern resource area is all his. Northern Australia. His tanks were last seen heading east down this way to Klon, Klon uh, Curry. So I'm not sure if he's coming. I don't know if he went both ways or not. My men are easily ahead of him. We will stay ahead of him. We will get down to Alice Springs where we will hold the line and say hi when, when he arrives. We got 400 assault strength here in a mixture of uh, men and uh, troops. Or men and troops. Uh, men and uh, vehicles. So even if he brought all three tanks, I don't think he could take he could take it. On the west coast, like I said he has taken Perth. Now he has to worry about the mines and get clear all that stuff out before he can actually actually use it. My men retreated here. We are gonna try to get them out eastward. I don't know if we can. Uh, my guess is probably not because he's gonna be able to come down. Well, he can come down the road out of Perth and just cut us off where we can't travel very fast. If he starts doing that, we're going to try to head here and maybe, and maybe fly some troops out, but we'll have to see. Over here on the East Coast, not a whole lot still going on. Here is his uh, the 48th uh, Division, broken up into, into the regiments. There's those Naval Guards that I beat up. That's a naval guard here, and that's paratroopers here. But we, most of these troops look like they're probably going to escape, but we won't know for a while yet. New Zealand, it's, I mean, he has the, we have a couple guys here that are just sitting here trying, you know, trying, he's trying to kill them. And then we're holding Wellington at the moment. We have level two forts, 13,000 supply. And 270 assault value, so we may be able to hold it for a while. One thing, do we do have some terrain on our, our advantage? We were it's in some woods, so that'll help us. Here's this, and here's a scene over by uh, over at uh, Tahiti. He has carriers up up here. Yeah, it's at least two task force here. Once I think the CSs are maybe flying. Uh, cap with his float planes they don't do a great job but against other float planes are probably fine and the cruisers are probably still here you can see uh tahiti took some good uh some good uh damage but we also have 140 engineers and 35 bulldozers here so we should be able to clean this up in a couple days and then get back to expanding this base here's everything that is fleeing the area from when i spotted them so I'm glad I brought those PBYs down. They're giving me some good uh, nav search here. Um, over here in the Mar Marquesas Islands, where I'm also building up EAO, I am also retreating out of there because I think he might be coming this way because I built a port here, and which means he, he knows I uh, built it. I've been switching over to forts now to build those up, hoping maybe he missed that I built a port. On, on, on his reports. So I'm going to build forts up to like level 3. And then start expanding the base some more. I'm not as. This is not built up as much as Tahiti. So only got 34 engineers and 14 bulldozers. But it's still a decent amount. I mean if he wants to land here and take it. He could. There's not a whole lot of combat power there. Compared to. Uh, Tahiti here. We have 300, 300 combat power, including including some you know marines, infantry units, and so and so forth. So he would need to come with like a, a division or so to, to have a chance to take take Tahiti, where 
EAO what is not that much. I mean, if he, if he takes this area, Tahiti's dead. I have to go all the way around to supply it. So if he parks some Bettys or Nels here, it would be all, all, all over. But I don't know if he'll be doing that. Off map, we're still waiting for ships to arrive at Panama so we can move them onward. We're loading more. Let's see, we got nope, resources going to Pearl. We got more Marines loading here, as well as these smaller Marine de detachments. The plan is to send these guys down to the South 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 Pacific to hold those islands if possible. So we'll see. Seattle's once again is just supplying the, everything else on the north with supplies and fuel. Over into China. The North is hasn't is, hasn't seen much action. He's he's sitting here at sending. I don't know if he's on. A, I mean, I'm sure he wants to to take it. He wants to take as much as he can, but we will see how that works for him. He just took Chang, so he found he has he has the rail now. Um, I Chang will fall at some point. It's can't hold it. it is it is uh, clear terrain. But I have a lot of troops here and more hiking there and towards it. I will I will hold here. I'm already building force. We got level four here. Um, we're gonna try to hold this line here. If he gets past up here, he he has multiple paths north, and they're that both of these are on roads. And worse, if he comes up over here, he can he can take the roads like here, and which means if he takes all this, my men have really no way to retreat other than this little trail way up north here. That is really crap. So I need to hold this line, and I probably will here. I still got these guys here, fifteen hundred assault value. We get some more supplies in there, though they will hold fine. Up north, we got a similar situation here with 1,900 assault assault va value here. Once again, supplies are going to be the problem. And I'm sure he'll come up this road, and we'll have to hold him here. If worst case we lose here, we need to fall back. You know, I don't know. We can't we can't lose uh, Chang Te because if he does, he has direct shot in, into the interior. Although. If he does that, he'll be easy, easy, easy to cut cut the supplies and then cut cut his men off like I've done several times over here. But that's kind of just what's going on. If you enjoyed watching the turn unfold with me, please go ahead and click on the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please go ahead and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And until we get the next turn, you guys all have yourself a great day, and I'll see you later.